So I was just um, noticing um, this crab apple tree and all these crab apples around which um, squirrels like to eat but it's uh, not too far, it's just the other side of the church um, so they would know these apples are here for whenever they want to eat them but um, I'll take um, a dozen to them and I'll leave some in the fridge and I'll you know give them on a daily basis cut into pieces uh, so here they are all now so I'll gather up um, a bunch of those but whilst I was looking at these then I noticed these and it's kind of like, okay so um, they're kind of like I think these are called sulfur mushrooms <coughs> very green under the cap and lots of them again I don't need to um, take these now into my home to ID them I'm pretty sure that's what they are look at the flat stipe they have a very flat stipe they have some sort of a olive greening under the gills they grow in these tufts uh, on decaying wood um, just like sulfur fungi does and so I would think um, that they are sulfur fungi but I uh, will have a look in the, the, the book um, in actual fact, I've got my bloody bag open here and I'll, and I'll just put them in. Now I've picked them, um, why not? So just drop them in there. And um, then there's um, another tuft. Ah, shit! Of these here, which are the same thing, yeah very very green on the uh, the gill and um, you know I um, I think they'll be a nice mushroom to eat if um, they weren't poisonous and uh, I seem to remember they were so put that one in there then I'm gonna uh, just like I say I'm going to grab up a bunch of these and just um, fill my pockets on my sweater. Just, I mean the birds even like these as well. If you can, you know, cut them into smaller pieces, they appreciate that because they don't have to spend a long time on the ground pecking at them being vulnerable if you um, put them into bite-sized pieces then they can just fly away with them and that suits them better yeah so the weather's getting colder now and the animals are going to be very appreciative of whatever you can give them and uh, so for those of you that are not really given to feeding wild animals then maybe you could consider starting and just put out whatever scraps you've got doesn't matter what it is whether it's fruit or vegetables or meat there's always going to be something that's going to be eating all of that it's all energy at the end of the day. Now I put out uh, all my meat scraps for the foxes who come by every night and um, anything else like, you know, unwanted bread and uh, anything, you know, pasta or, or whatever scraps, they're, they're going to eat it all. And so uh, there you go, guys and girls. Catch you later.